tight, Stewie. I'm coming. Is that... Is that Bernie Sanders? <laughs> Goes to Vermont once. Ah! How'd you get in here? I was propelled by a heart attack. Now let me talk about wages while the corners of my mouth fill with mung. Are your glasses always that smudged? I haven't used a wipey cloth in 35 years. You know who uses wipey cloths? Billionaires. I I'm sorry, I agree with everything you say, but can you just say it softer? Oh, someone at Coachella must have said my name three times. Goodbye. <laughs> Wow, Lois, this smells amazing. Yeah, it's eggs and garlic. I microwaved them till they were mixed. Oh, oh, they're beautiful. I love them. Well, I'm just glad to see you like my cooking again, Peter. What do you mean? What other cooking would I like? Barney's? You saying I've been eating at Barney's? Okay, fine, Lois, I've been eating dinner at Barney's. I think we should have another baby. That'll fix this. Peter, I don't care. You don't? No, it's less food for me to make. And besides, you know, these things happen in all marriages. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go into the other room and sing Melissa Manchester's Don't Cry Out Loud. Yeah, yeah, stop it, stop it. Nope, nope, can't afford it. Well, what can we afford? Black Betty by Ram Jam. Whoa, Black Betty, bam a lamb. Whoa, Black Betty, bam a lamb. Black Betty had a child, bam a lamb. Damn thing go wild, bam a lamb. Almost done, Stewie. Do you have an email address for our mailing list? Uh, no thanks. I'm about to kill myself. Stop the procedure. Look, Stewie, I know I've been hard on you, but it's only because I've been struggling with my own mortality. What? But you're perfectly healthy. Stewie, I celebrated my 10th birthday this week. In dog years, I'm 70. It's all I can think about. That's the age people shrug at when they see it in an obituary. Wait, Tio, you're 70? Do you get regular peels? You look great. Yes, I've got a great gal. We'll talk. The point is, I felt like my life was ending, but I was wrong. When I was driving up here to the clinic, I saw the leaves change. I tapped a maple tree and milked a cow. I, I tried fresh cream for the first time and went to a writer's retreat. I met Margaret Atwood and we foraged for wild mushrooms. Wow, sounds like you were in a real rush to get here. The point is, I've got a lot of life left in me. And so do you. Easy for you to say. You don't have a terminal illness. Oh, for God's sake, you don't have... Brian, what are you doing? Don't touch that. That's the infected Play-Doh. Brian, no, stop! There. Now I have cooties, too. And I don't care. You... you don't? We all have cooties. Whether it's illness or loneliness or turning 70, nothing is promised. We could get run over by a car or struck by lightning. We could be hit with an unprecedented pandemic that the government is slow to recognize, woefully unprepared for, and then mismanages with reckless incompetence. But that's all the more reason to appreciate the time we do have. I mean, look around. Look at this room. It's beautiful. Right. Did you eat those mushrooms you found? Yeah, you actually look like a very old witch right now. But I'm also just happy to be alive. And you should be too. You know what? You're right, Brian. Too bad you can never get that on the page, but that's profound. Hey, I changed my mind. I don't want to do the procedure. My life isn't over. Why, I've only just begun. Stop it! No, no, no! Can't afford it! Well, what can we afford? Whoa, Black Betty! Bam a lamb! Whoa, Black Betty! Bam a lamb! Black Betty had a child! Bam a lamb! Damn thing go wild! Bam a lamb! Yeah, you! First question. Go ahead. Meg was noticeably absent from the episode. Was that a team decision? Yeah, I'm not gonna be answering any questions about Meg. We'll be dealing with Meg internally. Over here. Uh, do you think we'll be seeing more of Peter and Bonnie teaming up? I thought it played pretty well. Uh, we'll have to look at the tape on that and uh, make a decision moving forward. Yeah. You guys used to be on at 9. Now you're on at 9.30. What happened with that? All right, I'm done here. This suit costs $40,000, and I'm throwing it away after this press conference. Okay, over here. 